Hi everyone, my name is Stephanie. Welcome to my channel. Um, I know there are a lot of makeup tutorials out there, a lot of people doing their makeup, and it probably is getting a little redundant, but I have a lot of my friends asking how I do my makeup, and instead of constantly telling them, I decided to put it up on YouTube so they can watch it whenever they want. Um, hopefully it helps you guys out in any way. Um, today I'm just doing a smoky eye from the Naked Smokies palette. Um, if you like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If not, then don't watch. <laughs> Bye! Hi guys, we're starting off with a nice clean face and I'm going to start off priming off my face with the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. We're just going to put that all over. And then I'm going to go in with the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer Mattifying Primer. I don't know if I'm a fan of this yet, but we'll see. It's just a little sticky for my opinion, but I'm going to put it all in my T-zone area because that's where I get the most oily. Then I'm going in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, and I'm going to put that on the outside of my face just because I like it, and it's very smoothing to me. Then I'm going in with Bite Beauty, uh, the Whipped Cherry Exfoliant Scrub, and I'm just going to put a thin layer on my lips because they do get dried very often. And then I'm going in with my concealer. It is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC25 and NC35. I'm in between those right now. I just put that on the back of my hand, mix them together, and dot it all over my face where I am breaking out right now because, you know, hormones. And yeah, it's not fun. I'm going to take a stippling brush. Mine is from Bellamy and it is the CF17 Duo Fiber, but any stippling brush would do. You just want to move that product all over your face. Then I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in shade 220 and I'm just going to take a flat top kabuki brush. Mine is from BH Cosmetics and it's the 116. Then I'm taking my Naked Skin Weightless Complete Con Coverage Concealer in Light and I'm just going to put that underneath my eyes and on the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow, my chin, and the sides of my mouth just for some highlight. I'm going to take my Damp Beauty Blender and blend it all out. Then I'm taking my Laura Mercier setting uh, translucent setting powder and I'm just taking a make uh, what is it? I'm sorry y'all. It's a setting brush from Real Techniques and I'm just setting that all over my face. I just like to set it and then sweep away all the excess powder. And then I'm taking my Too Faced um, cocoa powder in the shade light medium and I'm just setting the rest of my face. Then I'm taking a big fluffy brush. It is from, again, Bellamy. It is the CF13 medium powder brush, and I'm taking my Hula bronzer, and I'm just bronzing my face. I am not contouring. The only thing I'm going to do is contour my nose later on, and it's not really a deep contouring. I just like to bronze and get that little sun-kissed glow. For that, I'm just using a Real Techniques buffer brush. Um, just to blend out. Then I use my fingers to blend out the rest of the product. Then I'm taking Coralista by Benefit and I'm just taking in my BH Cosmetics 113 brush and I'm just gonna stipple it on my face. Then I'm going in with Becca Cosmetics um, Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hill. This stuff is amazing. I love it. If you can't tell, once I put it on, I get so excited because it's just beautiful. Beautiful. Good job. And I'm just taking a fan brush by Smashbox and applying it to my cheekbones, my nose, my cupid's bow, and above my eyebrows. And I get really excited. 
Next, I'm doing eyebrows, which they are not my favorite thing. I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and brunette, and I'm just brushing out my brows, and then I'm going to fill them in with the powder. I do have a scar on one of my eyebrows. I do not fill it in all the time because I feel that it gives me character, and if you don't like it, then I'm sorry. But I just put this product in, and then I brush it out to make them a little less bold. And then I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics Eyebrow Setting uh, Gel and just put that all over. Then I'm taking Urban Decay, and I'm just going to prime my lids. And then to set it, I'm just going to use the Cap on D Shade and Light Eye Palette in the color Ludwin, and I'm just going to set that primer. And I'm just taking a big fluffy brush. It is the Bellamy uh, CE03 Large Shader Brush. And then I'm going in with my Naked Smoky Palette, and I'm going in with my MAC 224, and I'm going in with Combust, Combust and I'm just putting it all over my crease pretty sloppily because it's going to be my transition shade. Then I'm going in with uh, another Bellamy brush. It is the C11 Blender and I'm going in with Whiskey and I'm just going to put this in the outer corner and slowly blend up. Make sure you start off in small quantities. The best thing is to blend, 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 blend. Key to a great smoky eye is to blend. And then I'm just going back in with my 224 and I'm just buffing it all out. Then I'm just going in with my BH Cosmetics. It's a flat shader brush and I'm going in with the shade 13 and just doing it as my highlight above my brow bone, underneath my brow bone. Then I'm going in with the Makeup Geek Soft Dome Brush. And I am just, I lied, it is the so a small crease brush and I'm going in the shade uh, Dagger and I'm just putting that on the outer corner and again just blending it all out with a little bit more whiskey. You want to really build your color up. Then I'm taking the um, Makeup Geek Soft Dome brush and I'm going in with Password and I'm just darkening it up. And again, just blending out any harsh edges that are there because we don't want harsh lines. Then I'm going in black market with the Makeup Geek small crease brush again. And I'm just putting that on the outer V of my eye to darken up my edge of the eye to give it that really smoky pop. And then I'm going in with my Urban Decay uh, Zero Eyeliner, and I'm just watering, um, lining my waterline is really gross, and I really hate seeing myself do this on camera, but just, yeah. Then I'm going in with Dirty, Dirty Sweet and High with my fingers. I'm just mixing those two together and putting that all over my lid. And then I'll go back in with a blending brush and just blend it all out. Then I'm going in with my um, Maybelline Studio um, Black is Black uh, liner, and I'm just using an eyeliner brush, and I'm going to make a small little wing. Sorry, I'm a little out of focus here because it's really hard for me to do a wing on camera. Then I'm going in with Black Market again and a small little shader brush. And I'm just going to uh, set that eyeliner and kind of smoke it out. Then I'm going in with Scandalize and just um, putting some mascara on. I was going to do some falsies, but um, they were not cooperating with me, so we just omitted that. Then I'm going back in with Combust on a small pencil brush. I was using the Makeup Geek one, but it was too small, so I switched to my Bellamy one. And I'm just going in underneath with Combust, and then I'll go in with Whiskey just to darken it up.
then I'm just using, um, I'm going in with black market and making it darker and then I'm just taking a blending brush and blending it out. Then I'm taking a real te technique, um, small precision brush or accent brush and I'm just um, taking the shade 13 again and moving it in the inner corner of my eyes. And then not neglecting my lower lashes, I'm just using the Giga Black eye mascara from MAC. Then I'm going in with a NYX um, lip liner. I want to say the shade is in nude pink and I'm just lining my lips. Then I'm taking Gerard Cosmetics Buttercup and this girl, Jacqueline Hill, is amazing. She just makes the most beautiful products whenever she collabs with someone. This lipstick is so creamy. I love it. It's the perfect nudie pink shade and then you can either go in with her um, butter buttercream um, lip gloss by Gerard Cosmetics or a good dupe is the CoverGirl in Candylicious and both are really good and here's the finished look. I hope you like it and yeah, have a good day.